Vlog number 146. Friday, April 19th, 2024, 8.22 a.m. Watching the Today Show as I usually am. I'll probably flip between this and the Thundermans. Today's gonna be a very simple day. I just have a lecture class. I'm gonna have a writing class, but it's an optional day because it's just a workshop day. So since I don't have anything done, there's really no point in going. So I'm just gonna go to the lecture class. Once I'm done with the lecture class, I'm once again gonna go into the journalism building. Hopefully I can actually get into the room today. And hopefully my card is there. My uncle is coming today, so this vlog is probably going to be very short. Well, not very, you know, it'll be a normal-ish vlog, like 15 minutes maybe. He's not going to come till probably 5 or so, so honestly it'll probably be the same kind of, you know, pretty long vlog as it usually is. But I'm just going to keep sitting here. i got to leave at 9.40, which is what I got an hour and 17 minutes, so plenty of time. Maybe I'll continue editing some vlogs in the next vlog. He's only 8 minutes long, so I can finish that one. Just keep watching the Today Show and flipping back and forth between that and the Thundermans. Why on earth is the Thundermans not on? It's 8.30, it should be on. Ugh, seriously. Why do they play Henry Danger so incredibly much? It's like, why do they only play Henry Danger? Look, look at this. It's all day again. Wait, is this the end of the Thundermans now too now? There's the Thundermans, okay. Whoa, Thundermans goes on a lot. Whoa, jeez. Okay, so it's Henry Danger all day today, and then the Thurman's all day tomorrow. Nice. I'm not going to be here tomorrow, though. No. I had to turn it off the Today Show because they're talking about Taylor Swift again, which drives me absolutely crazy. I can watch Sports Center. That's probably not. No, it's not. Where is... Where is Sports Center at? There it is. They have to show the highlights from last year's playing game when the Bulls blew their big lead. Man... How to bring back bad memories. Hopefully they don't do this nonsense again. That game is tonight. I don't know if I'll be able to watch it or not. All right, it's 9 o'clock. Here comes the Price is Right. I'll watch this for 40 minutes. Then I'll go to my one lecture class. A trip to Montana. Not the Clydesdale Outpost again. What in the world? That's not a good place to go. It's in the middle of nowhere. Glacier Park. Nice. I'm going to Montana. Well, not really, but close. Come on, win this trip to Montana. Can't be that expensive. 8000 is my guess. I mean, it's not that ex. I mean... Good pick, Susan. Good pick. That's what I would have said, but... I don't know. Clyde the lap post. That's not showcasing Montana in the best, but whatever. Let's see if it is. See if she's going to Montana. Yes, she is. She's off to Montana. And the first contestant of the day wins a trip to Montana. They're playing half off. I remember in a previous vlog, I guessed the correct number that it was. So when they remove half of the box, I'm going to say, I'm going to go with number 11. That's my pick today, number 11. 11 is still there with eight to go. Four more are about to disappear. Let's get it down to four boxes, please. 11 is still there. <laughs> 11. I still going with number 11. No way I got this again. No way. <laughs> that was before there were even any boxes removed. Let's see if it's number two. It is. It's number two and she nailed it. She had a 25% chance. $10,000. It's been a while since I've seen anybody win that game. That's pretty cool. Louie just won a car on that's too much. For whatever reason, my camera's malfunction. Every time I try to record, it keeps stopping the recording. I don't know what's going on. But I was just picking up the camera and saying, that's the first time I've seen anybody win on that's too much. And, like, I don't even know how long. It's been a long time since anybody won on that game. All right, it's 9.42. It's time to go. I was originally going to go to one class and then just skip the second class because all we were doing is working on just our personal essays, but I don't know what I'm going to say. She canceled class again, so I don't even have to worry about that class. Man, this teacher cancels so... I think she cancels once a week. That's not even a joke, so I like that, but now we're going to head to the school. I got to go down to the car first because my parents are coming and giving me more spaghetti stuff because I'm out, um, but I got no time to talk. This is a long walk I have to take. All right, it's 11.01. I just got back. Only one class, as I said today. It was the lecture class. We just, you know, he just talked the entire time about what it was like the women's ERA and stuff and how this lady, I don't remember her name. I don't remember her name, but she like opposed it and thought that women were already equal and getting the 
equal rights amendment, I think that's what it was called, passed, would destroy that. So she was against that and that's what we'd be. Basically, we just went over like 10 or 12 slides. I could show you the slides if I wanted to, maybe I will later. He got done at like 1040, which is a full 10 minutes before the class ended. So that never happens. So I left from that class. I went to the journalism building. Nobody was there. The room was pitch black, but my card was still there. So I'm glad nobody took it. I needed that. So, and then I just came back. Person, place, or thing is on. But once again, it's one of the old ones. And you know, maybe, hold on. Maybe, maybe Pete makes an appearance, you know? I keep saying that I don't like watching the old ones, but that's truly when this was the best. Person, place, or thing was the best when Pete was there. I don't know if he's there or not. Doesn't look like it, but I definitely remember that guy. Yep, it's her again. It, so yesterday was season one, episode 44. Today is season one, episode 45. So I don't know why they like started over and whatnot, but that's what I did today. Nobody's here yet. So what I'm gonna do now is finish off the, why is he going to the Young and Restless? Whatever. I'm going to play the rest of my MLB game now. The onslaught of Max Scherzer continues. I'm pretty sure I've scored in every inning so far. Yadier Molina, a deep homer to straightaway center field. He was batting 388 before that homer. Bringing up the batting average again. He is red, red hot. It's 5 nothing Mariners. All right, it's 11.30. I played three innings of the MLB game. It's now the seventh inning. I'm up five to two. They hit a two run homer, so that's kind of unfortunate. It was their worst player, too, that was bad in like 150, so that's very unfortunate. There's absolutely nothing on TV, so I turned it to MLB Central. I could probably watch Henry Danger if I wanted to. I'm gonna sit here on the bed for probably an hour, maybe 45 minutes, editing the next vlog. And then I'll move over to the couch, probably at around 12, 12 15. All right, it's 12.30. I just got done editing 10 minutes of the vlog. It's a 48-minute vlog, so got done with 10 minutes. For some reason, it's taking a really long time. Watching the Cubs game because there's nothing on, but I'm now going to play the 7th, 8th, and ninth inning of the MLB game, and hopefully I can win it and force a Game 7 in Seattle. Ken Griffey Jr. unloads on one deep to right field. And the Seattle Mariners have a 6-2 lead in the bottom of the seventh. I was absolutely crushed by Ken Griffey Jr. And the Mariners now have a four-run lead. Corey Kluber on the other side for me has been absolutely dominant. Through seven innings, he's given up two runs, three hits, and he's only at like 74 pitches. So Corey Kluber might be looking at a complete game. Just absolutely dominant today. Mariners lead 6-2. This is the worst collapse I have ever had, and I'm not even joking. Corey Kluber gave up three hits all game long. Had 80 pitches through eight innings. Was absolute dominant. I had a four-run lead. Gets the first guy of the inning out on one pitch. Then there's a base hit into right field. And then the second pitch, another base hit into right field. Guerrero misplays it. That allows a run to score. Then it's 6-3. to three. Then I give up a two-run homer to Bryce Harper. And then this guy hits a homer. And all of a sudden, we're tied. The biggest collapse in history. And if I lose this game, I'm done. This is this is shocking. This is the worst loss I will ever have if I lose this one. You want to talk about collapse? I got the first guy of the inning out in one pitch. They have seven consecutive hits. Seven. They had three in the first two innings. I'm absolutely baffled right now. Absolutely baffled what's going on. A double play ends the inning absolutely massive, but the damage has already been done. I'm I'm absolutely baffled right now. I just gave up seven hits in a row, and it's all of a sudden tied. Here we go, everybody. Runners on first and second. One out with Ken Griffey Jr. Let's go win this thing right here. Ken Griffey Jr. just smoked one into the gap, and it brings home the winning run. Ken Griffey Jr., the number one pick for the Mariners just came through in the biggest game of the year, in the biggest moment. He crushes one into the gap. Oh, yeah. And that was the game. And there will be a game seven in Seattle. The Mariners win seven to six. Oh, man. Ken Griffey. Oh, I don't know why the game had to be that stressful, but wow, what a win. There's one more game. It will be the final game I ever play. More than likely, MLB The Show 19. Now that I have MLB The Show 24, Ken Griffey Jr. is the player of the game. Came through in the biggest moment of the year. 
Sports is a Game 7. The Mariners and Diamondbacks in the World Series. One more to go in Seattle. All right, it's 110. Just moved over to the couch. After I played the MLB game, I kind of just sat around for about 5-10 minutes because my parents were on their way. They just showed up about 10 minutes ago, just picked up the spaghetti sauce, and then they left and came back up here. Turned into Henry Danger because there's literally nothing on TV. I mean, there's absolutely nothing on. I don't know why, but 110 moved over to the couch. I'm going to sit here until about, I don't know, maybe 140, 2 o'clock, and then I will probably move back over to the bed and continue editing the vlog. Man, this really hurts. Bobby Wagner is in this commercial. And it said Bobby Wagner, un underneath his name, it said Washington Commanders. That's just not right. That's just not right, man. Bobby's a Seahawk. Any other team is just weird. There he is. It's just not right, man. All right, it's 131. Just moved over to the bed. Still watching Henry Danger. It's a story tank episode. So has it been good so far, but, you know, I, I do wish the Thundermans was on because I really do enjoy the Thundermans. But it's good to watch Henry Danger every once in a while because it has been a while since I've watched it, so... 131, I'm gonna sit over here probably an hour or so. Maybe do a combo of just watching TV, eating snacks, and editing the vlog. Not sure yet. My uncle should be here around like, what, five maybe? Four o'clock, three o'clock, I'm not sure. He left at 11, taking about a five hours, so maybe around three o'clock, unless he's driving really fast, but I'll let you know when he when he arrives, and that'll be that for the vlog for today. All right, it's 154, still watching Henry Danger. That song that he's singing, Reminds me of the Game Shakers episode, and it reminded me, when was the last time Game Shakers came on TV? That's another series that has kind of been forgot about just because it does not come on anymore. Such a good song, though, with Kel Mitchell. I just do what I do. Oh, so good. I think it's 1.53, probably going to see here till about 2.30. I'm going to move over to the couch. All right, it's 2.45. This is one of my favorite Henry Danger episodes, the Dodgeball episode. But unfortunately, I'm going to be turning it off because it's time for game seven. If my uncle really did leave at 11, he should be about here. So I don't know how long I'm gonna play this for. I'll play three innings of this game, but I was just gonna say it's game seven of the World Series. This is it right here. If you look at the pitchers, you can't see it right now, but they're starting Catfish Hunter and I'm starting Justin Verlander, as you can see right there. The last, I've actually played against Catfish Hunter last time. And let's just say it did not go well. This is. When I played against Catfish Hunter last time, you could see the box score right there. If you look at the stats, Arizona Catfish Hunter, 6.1 innings, 5 hits, 2 runs. I could not do anything against him. So that's not a good sign that I already have struggled against him. But I'm at home this time. Here we go. It's Game 7 of the World Series, and it starts right now. 3 innings. Boy, this is... I'm wearing the teal jerseys one final time. Here we go. My lineup is ready. Here we go. One final game. It's the Diamondbacks and Mariners. The final game I'll play of MLB The Show 19, maybe in my life. Diamondbacks, Mariners. Doesn't get much bigger than this. Game 7 of the World Series starts right now. Let's go win this thing. Joe Morgan, the second batter of the game. Ricky Henderson started the game with a hit to left field. Joe Morgan now has double-digit home runs on the year. In the postseason, that is. And it's 2 nothing Mariners here in Game 7. Oh, what a start. What a start for the Seattle Mariners. A no-doubt bomb from Joe Morgan and the Mariners. Up 2 nothing. Couldn't ask for much better of a start than this. Ken Griffey Jr. follows it up two batters later. He hits a homer to left. The first four men in the order have all gotten a hit. Already four hits. I only had six last time against Catfish Hunter. The Mariners up 4 nothing in the first inning here in the biggest game of the year. Ken Griffey Jr. just went to left field, and Catfish Hunter is getting lit up to begin the game. It's 4 nothing Mariners. Ken Griffey Jr. is heating up when it matters most with the winning double into a gap plus a homer. Already homer today with runners on first and second due to walks. Crushes another one into the double. Second and third, one out. It's 5-1 Mariners. Willie McCovey with a sacrifice fly, and the runs just keep on coming here in the second. 6-1 Mariners. I'm liking this a lot. Wow, Catfish Hunter, after dominating me last game, doesn't even last a full two innings, and the bullpen is already in for the Diamondbacks. Wow. All right, it's 3-15. Just got done with the three innings. Moved over to the couch. Just got a text that my uncle is leaving Bonner, so he should be here in about 10, 15 minutes. So that's going to do it 
for the vlog. When he, whenever he says he's here, that's the final clip I'll make of this vlog. I was gonna continue editing the vlog until he got here, but since he's closed, I'm just gonna sit here. Just found out the Mariners game got postponed today. Of course it did because of inclement weather. I don't know how you postpone a game literally seven hours, like, well, five hours before it starts. Oh well though, um, that's gonna do it for this vlog. Pick up the vlog once again when he says he's here and that's where I'll end it for the day. All right, it's 3.28. He just texted that they're outside. So that's gonna be the end of the vlog. Unless of course I come back later tonight, but I don't know what like if I'm staying in a motel like last time. So maybe this is the end of the vlog. If not, I'll pick up the camera later tonight and you know, just be like, that's the official end. But right now saying goodbye, this is it for the vlog. I don't know what we're doing today, but I, all I know is he's outside. So it's time to go down there. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. I will see you next time. All right, it's 8.40, I just got back. What a day it was. I went to Chick-fil-A, got popcorn from the movie theater. But the biggest thing I did today, I also went to the arcade, I forgot to mention that. But the biggest thing I did today was something I have not done in a long time. I went to come on in and played Gravity Hill. They've had the same prizes for like 10 years. When I was a little kid, eight years old, they had the exact same prizes. And I struggled so mightily to win but today I went off, I cleaned the machine out, I got 11 major prizes and 72 bouncy balls. The phrase practice makes perfect has never made more sense before because I practiced this game for over 10 years and today finally I was perfect and I was money and I absolutely dominated it, cleaned it out. Oh, that was awesome. But I just got back, I'm staying here tonight, tomorrow night I'm gonna be in a motel. So I'm not gonna be able to vlog tomorrow night all that much. I'm gonna take a shower at halftime of this Pelicans game. It's in 25 seconds. How about the Pelicans? A lot of people thought Sacramento was gonna win this game. Without Zion Williamson, Pelicans up by eight with 25 seconds to go. Pelicans looking really, really good. Unfortunately, the Bulls got murdered against the Heat. So another pretty mediocre season comes to an end. I saw a pretty good headline that I can't remember what it said, but the Bulls season comes to an end. A very poor season. Very, there was an ant there. Are you serious? I thought these ants were gone. All right, that's it for the first half. New Orleans leads 54-45. I'm now going to take a shower. So that way, if I take a shower now, by the time I'm done, the second half will start. I'm not going to miss anything. It's perfect timing. Pelicans up nine at halftime in a winner go home game. All right, it's 9.15. Just got out of the shower, made the popcorn. Got all my snacks. I went to Town Pump and got a ton of candy. I got Fun Dip, Lemon Heads, two massive Tootsie Rolls, and the first time ever, miniature Skittles. I can't wait to try those. I'm obviously gonna try them on camera because it's the first time thing I'm doing. Pelicans up 69-61, halfway through the third quarter. Let's go Pelicans, I would love for you to win this game. Do it for Zion, man, do it for Zion. Love Zion, but. Shame he could not be out there today. But so far, it hasn't affected them. They're winning the game. I'm just going to sit here, maybe edit some more of the vlog because, well, I have nothing else to really do. I'm honestly going to watch the end of this game, so I don't have to worry about watching anything until this one ends. And might end at 10 o'clock. There's no Fallon again, which, where's Jimmy Fallon at, man? I don't like when he has these weeks off, but talk long enough. I think I've said that more in the last couple of vlogs than ever before. I've talked long enough, so I'm going to end the clip. I never used to say that, but... I have, because now I'm starting to do longer clips. I mean, fun fact, this clip right here is almost 15% of what the old vlogs used to be, which is just baffling. So I am going to end the clip here. I know I've rambled on about absolute nonsense. 9.16, going to see you here. Watch the end of the game. All right, it's 9.30. That's going to do it for the third quarter. Pelicans lead it by nine after three in this elimination game. One more quarter to go. Who's moving on to the playoffs? It's the Pelicans 83 and the Sacramento Kings 74. Terrific. Right as the game is about to end. Oh, there we go. Now it works. Does TNT work now? Okay, now TNT works. Oh, man. Pelicans are absolutely dominating. They're about to move on to play the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Sacramento Kings. How about this? They played five times already. The Pelicans have won all five times, and they're going to make it six times now. The Pelicans are going to sweep the Kings 6 nothing, and move on to the playoffs. I don't know why TNT keeps doing this, but it keeps freezing up. It's driving me crazy. Why is it doing this? I've literally not had problems with this in I don't even know how long. Three months? Quit doing this. Let's go. This isn't on any other channel. 
It's like the TV doesn't know how to work. Oh, come on. Is it gonna keep doing this all night long? Cause now SportsCenter doesn't work. Let's go, come on. There it goes again. I just, what? I just apparently, oh my, are you, what's in the world? Why is the thing red now? So now I don't have any internet now either? Boy, it feels like I've been, this feels like when I first got to Missoula. Now the internet's not gonna work? Why does the internet not work now? Oh, come on, really? That internet has not, I don't, that, it's been like three months since that thing went red. It's 10.05, that's gonna do it. The New Orleans Pelicans win at 105.98 and they earn the eighth seed in the West and the Sacramento Kings are gone. Wow, what a win for New Orleans. Without Zion Williamson, they still get a great win over Sacramento. They go to 6-0 and against the Sacramento Kings. There you see on the bottom, I'm not going to be able to vlog this game, unfortunately, the Lakers-Nuggets game, because I'll be at the motel, but you already know I will be watching that game very, very closely. My camera's not focusing for some reason, but that is going to do it. New Orleans wins it, and they are now the eighth seed. It's 10.06. Probably going to turn to the news now, unless, of course, something else is on. I highly doubt Jimmy Fallon's new today, because it hasn't been all week long. I figured that Naomi Cantwell, Sue Bird, and Kneecap. Turning into the news, I'm going to sit here for about 10 more minutes, and then I'll get up, move all my snacks, and round, it, round the night down. All right, it's 10.33. That's going to do it for the vlog. I don't know what I'm going to watch tonight. I'm not going to watch Fallon, unfortunately. Uh, I really want to watch Fallon, but man, his old episodes. Why, Fallon? Why'd you have to take a week off, man? Like, what am I supposed to... Well, I know what I'm watching for the next 30 minutes. Chucky, baby. Chucky. I wish I would have known they came on at 10. I would have watched it. Uh, and Practical Jokers doesn't come on until 11.30. Ah. I guess I, I know I'm... Okay, so I know I'm watching Chucky till 11. After that, it doesn't look like anything else comes on. Frozen is on? Frozen? And then Frozen 2 comes on next. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. When I watched Frozen for the first time, it really made me think of stuff. I don't know what it... I, it just kind of changed me as a person, believe it or not. Very strange. Um, I don't know what it was, but it's like... I don't know. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch Chucky till 11 o'clock... And then at 11 o'clock, I'm going to turn on Frozen 2 because when I watched Frozen 2 the last time, I never really watched the beginning of it. I, 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 I only watched the end of it. Frozen is on. Frozen and then Frozen 2? FX is nailing these movies. Chucky tell 11, Frozen 2, 11 tell whenever I decide to go to bed today. Tomorrow's vlog is not going to be as long because I'm leaving here at 8.30 and that will be it. I'm honestly, I might not even make a vlog tomorrow. I might literally just make like a two minute vlog in the morning, like get up at seven o'clock I'm until 8.30 and then I'm going to do my assignment with the camera. Uh, and then I'm gonna be doing stuff the entire day and then I'm gonna stay at the motel and not be able to vlog anything. So I know I made this clip long enough, so I'm just gonna wrap it up there. I'm um, gonna be a very short vlog tomorrow, but hopefully you did enjoy this one. I'm not gonna end the vlog quite yet. The next clip will be me watching Froze me watching Frozen, but this will be the official exit. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. See you tomorrow. All right, it's 11.10. I turned it to FX, Frozen 2 for the rest of the night. I've never seen this part of Frozen. I saw the second half of Frozen 2. I've never seen the first half of Frozen. They're already going into the songs, which is pretty cool, but that is a musical. Gonna watch this the rest of the night? See you guys tomorrow. All right, it's 11.20, still watching Frozen 2. Into the Unknown is playing. I never watched Frozen 2, but I know Into the Unknown is like this movie's star song. In the original Frozen, it was obviously Let It Go, but Into the Unknown is kind of the Frozen 2 main song. Already playing it 19 minutes in. It's interesting so far. Very interesting.